majority of peering that you see in Kansas City, regardless of the company that you're dealing with, uh, use steel piers. So that, that's it's the common pier for the Kansas City area. The type of steel pier is ultimately what you'll see in terms of differences from company to company to company. And so at Casey Pier, all of our resolutions, whether they're waterproofing or structural, all come with time tested and strategically uh, produced and thought through solutions. And so when it comes to peering and Casey Pier, we specifically use a push pier. And a push pier is different than the bracketed pier. It's different than a helical pier. You'll hear those types of terms, but we take push piers and use them because they're concentrically loaded. And what that means is that the load, the house is the load, sits directly on top of a push pier. Um, with a bracketed pier, the bracket sits on the side of the house and holds the house up through a bracket. With a helical pier, you have to dig out the side of the house and you ultimately are putting that pier, the head of it, on a bracket as well. So it's like trying to hold the load with your elbow, the, the strength of your elbows and biceps over time. And ultimately that can produce issues from Casey Pier's eyes. Also, it's not directly perpendicular. The load is now not perpendicular, directly sitting under the load itself. Um, so that bracket can ultimately cause angle issues. So we don't necessarily move in the bracketed form of piers or helical piers, which are also bracketed. We don't believe in, in the physics that's kind of sit behind it. There are advantages to them. They're, they're less expensive in terms of the installation. installation. You don't have to dig as far or as deep under a house to, to install a bracketed pier. Uh, you use machinery to install a helical pier. So I understand why people do it, but I don't uh, approve of the solution itself. I don't approve of the, the principles behind the solution. We tend to dig a little bit deeper because a, 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 a concentrically loaded steel pier needs to be dug and placed underneath the foundation. So it takes about 45 more minutes per hole to ultimately install uh, a push pier, concentrically loaded push pier like we use here at Casey Pier. And it takes a little bit more time because they come in, in approximately 20 inch to 24 inch segments. And you have to push those down until ultimately you hit bedrock or, or strata load to ultimately hold the house. But in the end, it's a lifetime warranty. We know once we install these heads uh, for and piers that ultimately we're not coming back. And that's what the customer is paying for. They don't want us to come back. They want the solution to be a lifetime solution. It's gonna be expensive. The, you know, any, any type of pier that you work with is a large expense when you're dealing with, with structure repair, but it's gonna be a, a repair that ultimately, if this is a, a lifetime home or if the home is demanding that piers need to be installed, it's one that uh, the principles behind the install and the warranty that sits behind that house and that, that resolution is gonna be one for a lifetime. And ultimately, that's, that's the, the real advantage of our steel pier that we use is that it has a much stronger advantage from principle and from a warranties perspective that you know, some of the other competitors that are using bracketed piers and the, the, the cost savings of those piers that ultimately just don't match up to what we use at KC Pier.